awesomeness, awesomeness. Texlaw Dutch Oven Cooking is coming to you. It's coming. Hang on. Texla Dutch Oven Cooking. That's right. Today's video is about Mountain Man Breakfast. So if you get your books out, that's right. We're all using these, aren't we? We're learning. We're going to page a 246. Can you see that? That's right. So if you notice, I have the word bacon. Bacon makes everything better. Did you know that? And I'm using a 12 inch Dutch oven. That's right. So uh, let's get the cook on. So this should be an easy one. So we got a dozen eggs right here. I'm using five potatoes because it says use two pounds and uh, it says frozen hash browns. No, 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 no. We're using real ones here. All right. Billy said four probably makes two pounds, so I threw another one in for good measure. We got a pound of bacon. I'm using thinner bacon because that's what I wanted to use for this cook. Sometimes you use thick bacon for other things. A pound of uh, Owen sausage, that's right. And uh, two cups of shredded cheese is what I'm using. So that's, that's it. We're gonna show you how we cook it up. Here we go. Get your briquettes going. Get them going. All right, we're gonna we're gonna brown the sausage first. We're just gonna bring some coals over. Let's see. Let me see this. Okay, turn it this way. Turn the camera. <laughs> you scoop them over there like that. Then you set it down. Use this end like this, and then you just oh. shove them on over. I'm learning from him. Show them that. See? You just... No, they can't see. Scoop them over. Scoop show them, over. The, show them your show? puller. My puller? Yeah, see? So he's taking that end of the puller and pushing them over with that. I was doing it wrong. He's... I'm learning. And it's called a lid lifter. Yeah. Lift your lid. Yeah. Lift your lid. <laughs> All right, let me get the sausage back in there, sizzling up, and we'll be right back. Hear the sizzle? Chop her up, just like so. Get it brown, brown it up. We're moving on. Okay, so the reason we don't put the lid on while we're browning anything, you see all the steam coming off? All that awesome goodness? That actually will start rusting the top of your lid. If for some reason while you're browning something you want to leave the lid on it, make sure you leave it cracked so that steam will escape. And once you get through, make sure you wipe all the moisture off the bottom of the lid. So that's what Billy's bringing along to this show. Texla Dutch Oven Cooking Tips. You just learned something else. You just learned a new tip, possibly. Yeah pork sausage is ready to come off and now we're gonna cook the bacon yeah I'm gonna leave the grease in there at this point in time all right so what we're gonna do now we're gonna start over with the charcoal actually we got some more charcoal going on so we can do the final cook They'll be coming up here soon. Slide them back over now. You want some of the ones that were in the corner. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of mixing it up. All right. Let's go with that. Cool invention. Cool invention right there. And I don't think I showed it. Uh, I think Billy was just talking to me. So I'm still turning the pot every once in a while to get it evenly cooked because with the wind blowing, it's, it was cooking more on one side than the other. I did stir it, but I also was turning it. Let's get the bacon on. I cut it in threes. Just like that. Let 
heat up and they'll separate. Yeah. Be sure and keep stirring it up so it doesn't stick. All right, we're now at the part. Taking all this bacon goodness. Just add it to the sausage right now. And then we're gonna take this bacon grease, sausage grease, we're gonna cook up the two pounds of taters. All right, let's get that goodness in there. Goodness in the goodness. Ow! Oh, there went a pine needle. That's all right. Protein. Just like that. All right. Still leave the lid off. You put the lid on for that part. Look, you need to make sure you wreck around some new coals. Oh crap! You forgot to remind me that. Alright. No, 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 no. You're fine. Just keep going. We're gonna add some more coals to it. Um, I'm gonna leave the lid off, huh? Right? We're gonna get some more coals on here and we'll be back after we get some browning going on. Alright, the cook's on, the cook's on. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. You know what? I didn't bring onions, but onions would have been a nice addition to this one, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? The, the taters are ready. So we're gonna pour the goodness back in on top of it. Oh, look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. Bill Gowdy. Bill Gowdy goodness. Would right love there. some goodness right there. Oh, if you like Dutch oven cooking, We'll leave a link to Bill Gowdy down below. Go check him out. He's our buddy. He's our friend. He's our pal. You want me to mix it? Nope. Nope. Spread right. it out. Yep. Right. You just you're, spread you're it out just like, just you're spread it out just like that. Yep. yep. Now, then you just dump, dump the eggs. Oh, let me, let me dump it the right way. You just dump your scrambled eggs just all over the top. Oh, 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 oh. We'll add the cheese in a little bit. Don't want it to burn. You put the lid on this time? Yes. And coals on top? Yep. And we got eight, eight coals on bottom. We're going to put 16 coals on top. And we'll be rotating this, what, every 15 minutes? Yeah. The lid one way, quarter. The bottom one way, quarter. That's the way we roll. That's the way we rotate. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Be back when we add the cheese. It's proper. All right, we're gonna do a little peek. A little peek. What's that? Well. No, we need a little bit more heat because we're not cooking. It's the white stuff. The white stuff is the eggs. That yeah. will be the eggs. They're cooking. Oh. They're cooking. All right. Well, we'll have this ready. We woke up extra early. I think we're going to have it at about six. Six a.m. <laughs> six a.m. Because we got up at four a.m. to do this. <laughs> we even did that two mile run. And, or yeah, no, hike, too. sorry. Hike. Oh, Y'all got to see this mountain we climbed up over here, too. That's another video. Another video? Yep. Yeah. Wait for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can pull the lid off. Yes, sir. All I'll right. So we had, a little, we had a little difference of opinion. Billy was right. Papa was wrong. Okay. I thought the eggs were still liquidy. And while ago, he said, put the cheese on. I said, no, not yet. Uh... Screwed up. Should have listened to Billy. That's what he's here for. All right, so we're gonna put that cheese on here. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let that melt in and then we're gonna eat breakfast. <laughs> At six o'clock. At six. <laughs> yeah. Since I screwed up and didn't listen to Billy, He's teaching me, and I said, no. Well, 
I should have listened to them. The sucker's done. The cheese is melting, as you just saw. We put it on there. So I'm gonna take this off. It's cooking on top to cook that cheese. And while the cheese is melting, we're over there on Strong's Adventures. making. He's making a VR for who? Marty's Outdoor Crew Adventures. Marty's Outdoor Cruise Adventures. Yeah, I'm gonna be asking them the questions. Yeah. Okay, here's our finished product. You'll see it one more time when we eat it and we take it out of here, put it on our plate, <gasps> eat the delicious stuff and you get to see our beautiful fun happy faces yeah this is breakfast camping yeah mountain man breakfast get you some of that yeah easy to do easy to do it was so easy it's about take you about 30 minutes you'll have this sucker done <laughs> <laughs>